So I, I thought I'd give you guys a video on speaking on your ankles, your feet, um, basically pronation. Um, I know a lot of you guys have probably heard the term over pronate a lot, because I'm pretty sure a lot of people use the term not really understanding completely what the term means. Um, basically, muscle muscle injuries are 55% of the total sports-related injuries with ankle sprains being at the very top. Um, so, and that comes into terms with people not understanding exactly how their foot functions and what kind of shoes they need to be wearing and what, uh, what kind of arches they actually have in their foot. So everybody will go off the, the TV shows, the, the commercials and, and everybody's telling, and you know, the influencers telling you, you need to be wearing vapor maxes. You need to be wearing this, 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 but literally most of these shoes that they're giving to you or telling you to wear are not made for every type of foot. They're made for a specific type of foot. And if you got them and they work for your foot, that's good. And most of the time, 90% of the time, let's say football, soccer, they're usually made for a neutral foot, meaning they have enough arch support in their foot to sustain whatever they're doing. They don't have to worry about supernating, which is the rotating on the outside of the foot. They don't have to worry about overpronating, which is pushing down all the way into the inside. So those are not, they're not really made for you guys. They're made for a neutral foot that understands how to contact the ground and, and is it's not, it's not, you're not gonna not get injured that way, but you have less of a chance of that because your foot is constantly ground appropriately and how it's supposed to. Um, there literally are, it gets, it gets real hard, especially with football, soccer, especially track runners, especially track runners. Track runners, it gets hard because of the fact that when you wear spikes, it's real hard to put insoles in spikes. Um, so you have to know what kind of spikes you're wearing and you have to know what kind of, what race you're using them for. You have to know how long you're going to be wearing them. You have to know, there's a lot of things that you have to put into the account when you're doing this. But in this instance, if you're, if you don't really put an account for that, you have to look at your running shoes. Now you have, you have the, uh, supernators, which again, that's when people run on the outside of your foot, which if you look at a lot of track runners and even football runners and, and coaches, I, I, please do this. I want you to, I want you to do this. Record your athletes, just record like front up, like look at them front words. And a lot of them, you'll see a lot of them are supernators. So like, especially track, runners, especially track runners. A lot of them will contact the ground on the outside. So it'll roll from the heel outside, come up on the toe and then come up and then contact and then push off. So instead of, like neutral runners, how they would contact, boom. It might be a little bit pronation because that's how the foot is. You're always going to have a pronation no matter what you're doing. You can't get rid of it unless you literally don't have the ligaments or muscle mass in your foot to do it. Like, it keeps everything uneven, uneven surfaces. It keeps your, yourself from hurting yourself that way. Now, over pronators, you'll see, you'll see it a little bit in track runners when it comes down to it, but that comes down to it for running shoes. Like, not normally when they're running in... I used to do it just because I have super flat feet. Um, so when I wore spikes, if I ever, if my heel ever came down, which depending on what kind of spikes you got, like if I had a power play spike, if my heel came down, it was like, it was on the ground, like it was over pronated. And I used to have ankle problems. I used to have to take my ankles up all the time, but nobody knew why, why my ankles did that. Like it just, oh, you just gotta, you'll be all right. Just ice it up. It's not the issue. It's not that never fixed it and it wasn't ever going to be fixed. Now it gets, it's getting a little, it's getting a little bit better with labeling shoes for people. Like, so you'll see, you'll come to Nike or you'll come to Asics or whatever. You'll see a, a, a row that says neutral shoes. And that's literally people who have the, the art support in their shoe. I mean, in their foot to do what it has, it's supposed to do. So if you have to strengthening whatever you have to do, your foot is supported for that, and that's what you're supposed to have supposed to work. Now you'll see another another aisle that says uh, supernators, and it might say it might say like something like uh, motion control or something. It might have some type of word like that. Um, but basically, all that's going to do is the supernators are keeping your foot from rolling to the outside.
So <clears throat> it gives you that little bit of extra cushion. So what it might do, it might have a little more cushion. So say you have, okay, say you have a shoe, right? So supinators will basically have more cushion on this inside of your foot. So when you contact the ground, it won't roll to the outside. It'll keep it up supporting yourself and supporting where it, where you're supposed to be contacting the ground. So this is for training shoes, training shoes purposes. Um, over pronators, which is what I was in my whole life. Didn't need, didn't, nobody explained it to me. Nobody explained why my ankles are always hurting. My knees were always hurting. A lot of you might have this issue and that's why you have knee problems. You have IT syndrome problems, hip problems. Um, and what you need to do is start looking at your shoes. So when you're coming down, it literally, all your pressure will be put pushed down on the inside of your foot. Yeah, your, yeah, your shoes look good. Yeah, you look nice, but your body's not gonna feel nice. And you're trying to figure out why everything hurts. And literally, key point, ground up. Whatever, whenever you start feeling pain and stuff, start looking from the ground up. So you say your feet hurt. Whenever it comes down to it, if you can't find a shoe or get somebody to explain to you what kind of shoe it is, get yourself some insole. Um, that's probably the cheapest, best way. That way, even, even if you have a shoe that um, you like and it just doesn't, it's not, you can tell it's not for your foot, you can put that insole in that shoe and it'll work for you how you need it to work. Um, basically, so uh, that that's the main point, main point in case. Then that's, then you have the insole for your, your cleats, um, only thing it won't, you won't be able to use them for is your spikes. That's so for track runners, just know that. Um, it's just one of those things where you're going to have to work on strengthening your feet, your ankles and, and shins and stuff like that for that purpose. But you'll alleviate some of that pain and some of that suffering if you take in consideration for your training shoes. So whatever you use for your training shoes, that's what you need to be focusing on. So don't just go out there and just buy any kind of shoe and just and just hope that that's it's gonna work and it's for you because somebody else told you hey these are the best shoes in the world but that person has perfect neutral feet <laughs> and and it's me personally knowing that like it it'll mess up your whole biomechanics everything you're working on everything you kind of do if you don't fix fix that feet the, your feet and your ankles and your and your and your uh, your arches. It's gonna be a it's gonna, it's gonna be a long ride. I'm telling you right now, like once you figure that out and you fix that, it'll make life a lot easier. I promise. But so uh, one way you guys can go check just to make sure if you know if you're overpronating, if you're um, a, a supernator, <clears throat> if you're um, if you're neutral, this is what you're gonna do. This is a little bit better to check for for overpronators. But what you're gonna do, if you can, you can get a mirror or you can get somebody to record you, whatever you have to do, you're gonna get a tall mirror. You need a tall mirror, mirror, at least you can see your feet. You're gonna stand on one foot. You're gonna basically see which way your foot turns. So you're just gonna kind of stay there. If you if your foot is having a hard time staying up and it keeps turning inwards, like keeps pushing toward the ground you're most likely an overpronator and you need to probably start working on strengthening your feet and your uh, your arches. Um, so that's my best option for right now for you guys to figure out if you're an overpronator. The uh, supinator, it, it'll it be kind of, you'll kind of see, if you, if you run and you have somebody record you, you'll see that contact and it's kind of like the outside pushing in and it'll come up. And even if you're running, you'll kind of see the, the outside and pushing in and it just just look up look out for those things i promise you if you if you look those things up and you start paying more attention to your feet a lot of you guys pain is going to go away knee pain all that hips back a lot of it will go away um so appreciate all you guys listening to the video